Hello everybody, welcome to the decks of the weekend. Today I have a different setup as I am in Barcelona, Spain, helping and enjoying the, the time with some testing team who are practicing for the Pro Tour. And uh, so you can hear me uh, worse than usual because I'm with my, uh, with my laptop and behind me I have the swimming pool because we are in this very big house for 16 people here in the uh, outside of Barcelona. So I'm with a team that's practicing for the Pro Tour and I'm helping them in Modern as well as getting some reps in with uh, Sealed and Draft since I am practicing for the GP, uh, the Sealed GP that's happening on Friday. I'm very excited for that one. Uh, hasn't been one in a long time. Um, but still, I wanted to make my decks of the weekend because I really enjoy making content for my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, let me know in the comment. Of course, uh, th this one is not the usual uh, sound of me, so hopefully you can bear with me for the next uh, five or six minutes uh, that this video is gonna last. For those of you who don't know, decks of the weekend, I analyze uh, three decks of three different formats that I like and see the new things that happened over the weekend about them so for modern a lot of scam scam was so dominant it was everywhere it won several challenges many top eights and etc but on the sunday challenge scam lost the final to this deck all right so what is it this is lonis combo so for those of you who don't know lonis cryptozoologist and the Chatterfang and the academia manufacturer was this very powerful engine that happened in modern horizons 2 and the uh, lonis makes you do clues Chatterfang makes you turn those clues into squirrels and academia manufacturer makes those turn those clue into food and treasure so you have a lot of game objects now what do you do with these game objects well it's just value but now this value deck also has a combo a combo kill thanks to Samuel G Gamji which is a two mana two two that whenever a creature enters the battlefield you make a food so again with a manufacturer you make a food a clue and a treasure but this also serves you for the Kajra familiar which is often combo uh, for those of you who don't know, or I guess Vishra is here as well, you don't need wishes of it. But basically you just sacrifice the cat, you bring it back, sorry, a cat, you have a food laying around, you sacrifice the cat, you bring it back, sucking the food, the cat coming back makes you also uh, make a food again, and you keep on going, so you drain your opponent out. So uh, this is the, the the very interesting list, also a Peregrine Took is a new one, whenever you make a, a token, you make a food on top of it. So basically it's just all about game objects, all about tokens. And yeah, you also have the Lighted Halfling and Goose as mana ramp, as well as Goose, of course, make you a, a food and like and use the food uh, because you make a lot of them and it's very hard to use foods uh, usually. But some ways Gamji can sacrifice three foods and return an historic permanent, which are like basically all, all your creatures are legendary or artifacts. So. Uh, you can return anything with Samwise Gamgee, last ability. So this is a very sweet list. Unfortunately, again, I'm not going to be home for the next, uh, at least a week. Uh, so maybe we'll play that next week, and then I'll post it on the channel in the next days. But this is definitely a deck, fun deck that I wanted to shout out, and it won the Saturday ch Sunday Challenge. Again, there's plenty of fun decks in Modern. It's just that sometimes they're very hard to be competitive. They're very hard to be like, oh, I am invested enough in this deck that I want to play this deck in a challenge, you know, spend thirty dollars or whatever, uh, play a tournament, and then win it. That doesn't happen very often. So, congratulations to Treasy for doing that. You're cool. Let's move on to Legacy, where um, another uh, another very sweet uh, another very sweet uh, deck came third in the Saturday challenge that I wanted to shout out. So uh, this is um, uh, this is a reanimator with War Gorger Dragon. This has been a thing for a, 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 a bunch of time, like ever, ever since I started playing Magic. War Gorger Dragon plus uh, Anime Dead was a combo. And for those of you who don't know, it's a loop. It's an infinite loop. Um, basically, you animate that the War Gorge Dragon. The dragon comes into play, uh, exiles every other permanent, and so uh, along with it, you also exile uh, animate dead. So you have to sacrifice the War Gorge Dragon, bring back all your permanents. In the meanwhile, you get all the ATBs and on top all your lands. Now you have two payoffs uh, for winning the game with that. You have the Bowmasters, which every time comes back, pings your opponent, so you win this way. And you have the One Ring, which every time comes back, it's untapped, so you can tap it to draw a card and draw your Bowmaster because you have infinite mana. So that's it basically. You now have a War of the Dragon Wing Con that is not like bad cards like it used to be in the past. Like when I was a child, it was Ambassador or Quatus um, to mill your opponent out. But now you have Bowmasters, which is the best card in Legacy. 
and you have the one ring which is also uh, very powerful and this deck can power it out with dark racial chrome mocks and etc and ancient tomb of course you also have various things like troll which you can reanimate very easily on turn two or you have echo beyond to entomb in the graveyard to draw seven and then you have the mid-range plan of grief shield red and post cyber you also have dotty opposition agent and ravenloft adventurer so this deck is probably not better than classic red black reanimator but um it is something new and uh, congrats to duke 12 because this is a very cool idea and it's very easy to me oh uh, sorry i mentioned that's the dead is basically the same as uh, anime dead a lot of words here but basically same as anime dead it stops and you have to pay two but it works with a combo with gorgeous dragon you also have only one reanimate because you're focusing on the um anime dead more of course it's worse because it costs one more mana but you could get to combo um so i was, I was saying it's very cool this deck and maybe um uh, various uh, the different choice that you would play with grizzle brand because this deck has no grizzle brand there's also no tracks i hear that i hit in the lands but yeah um so yeah, very cool deck, and uh, uh, this is another one that I might try, because War Gorgeous Dragon is definitely a deck of the past. Remember, again, when I was a child, this was the best deck in uh, in Magic and Vintage, and uh, um, yeah, very cool, very cool. Let's continue now, let's go over to Popper, which is another format that um, was shook out by the uh, cycling cards, in this case, Lauren Revealed, and it's very important to know that uh, there is a... Um, a new card that's coming out with Commander Masters that might actually change a lot of things in Popper. Um, so, Cryptic Serpent is the name, and it's a 7 mana 6 5, and it costs one less for each instance of sorcery in your graveyard, which is basically Tolerant Terror but without ward. So, much worse because it costs 2 and it has ward. But it is additional threats, and you know how uh, the Terror decks have been blue black. But this deck won the uh, Sunday Challenge, and it's just blue or red. Lure Revealed is just very good in Popper. Five mana, it's not that hard. And uh, you get instant to go for Terror. You just the consistency to your deck, getting more um, uh, red lands uh, as you wish. And it might be that with a Cryptic Serpent, the, the way to go now is blue or red instead of blue black. Mostly because the red has access to Artifact Hate, Ingolera Shaman, and Cast Into the Fire. So now you get to have a better matchup against Affinity. Blue Black problem is definitely the matchup against Affinity, which is one, if not the best deck in Popper, and Blue Black has a bad matchup against it. So it's never great, you know, to register a deck that is bad against the most played deck or best deck in the format. But now, thanks to Red, you can get a chance and that you don't hurt your deck too much. Uh, again, this deck already won without the Serpent, um, so it's definitely a viable choice. You have basically the classic uh, Blue-Red over a Bola Scred deck that we used to play in the past. I remember playing it with the uh, Fairies and the Ninjas and etc. But the deck is kind of gone now, and I think Castle to the Fire are also so, so punishing for the Fairies decks. Uh, never to be too much of a fan of mono blue fairies, although that's a somewhat a popular deck. Uh, you have the uh, monarch mechanic in a two fleet admiral and crimson fleet commodore. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it for my uh, popper section. Remember that with commander masters, they're gonna downshift a bunch of cards like all the glitters, good in affinity and boggles, like dread return. Maybe that card does something, but that's honestly a lot more. So yeah, check it out for sure. And um, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. And um, again, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Um, remember you that even if I'm not home, there's plenty of mango video going out every day. I schedule all of them uh, in, the, in the past weeks. So they're going to be maybe slightly outdated, but still, I hope as entertaining as possible for you. Have a good one, everybody. Enjoy your day.